Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tech Productions. Today I bankrupt be joined again by Jimmy and like always, Fluff. So who was in the Dave Matthews band? Um, I think there was a dude named Dave, there was a dude named Matthews, and there was a dude named Band. And today's matchup what? is Fluff versus wait, Jimmy. Wait, 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 wait. It's multiple people. Yeah. That's weird. Today's matchup is Fluff versus Jimmy. Uh, Fluff uh, has SS4 Vegeta, and Jimmy's giving his take at Blue Weiss. Like I was just buttons down below, feel free to click them to there for a reason. It's now past 30 seconds, so let's go into today's matchup. It's, it's now past 30 seconds? So we can play yeah. copyrighted music, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah we can play the, the Dave Matthews band. I've never, I, just, I don't know, I don't know who that is. All, all, all you need to put in there is that little blurb where Dave Matthews is like, the space between, and that's it. Like, nothing else, just that. So earlier this week, we talked about a little bit, a little bit about SS4 Vegeta. So, f- Jimmy, you want to talk about Weiss? Uh, yeah, I would love to. Uh, Weiss is a deck. What do it do? Yeah, talk about what, what it does um, and what the intentions of the leader with his activate mains and the beers cards that are played. Um, that's a fantastic question. That's a fantastic, fantastic question. So, the the leader uh, has an activate main where you, and then there are Beerus cards that when you when you attack with them they, and then there's like some other blue cards that you know actually have effects like Sensu Bean. Um, speaking of effects, I played this very powerful card on Fluff's uh, field using my leader card. Uh, shout out to Bancroft for, for getting the blue skill assist, so I had to rip uh, my yellow ones out of the uh, good Wii stack. Um, but it still works. But, it says blue or yeah. yellow. Yeah, yeah, it works still. Uh, but the leader, you can tap it, draw a card, and you get to play a 15k skill assist from your deck or drop area on your opponent's side. Uh, and then the one drop Wii that I played, he's a top three searcher, and then you can tap to play a two drop Beerus. Uh, and also restand your Whis or Grand, a Great Priest Leader. So gives you multiple draws off your Whis, gives you a, uh, a Beerus on field. This particular Beerus is, the I think, easily the best one in the deck. Uh, when he swings, he combos with a uh, god with an inch co- or a combo cost of one, uh, and then draws you a card. And then this four-drop Beerus, when uh, he's in the combo area, when a battle card is KO'd uh, on your opponent's side of the field, uh, he will draw a card and play himself. Was there not a cost uh, to comboing with him? I just said that the two-drop Beerus combos with a one-drop. Sorry, you, uh, did. Com- <laughs> you did. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, that was actually sick. Like, I really, like, that play is really sick on turn two, being able to throw out that Beerus. Yeah. Uh, so th- this Beerus is, the four-drop is fairly good. Um, about as I don't think it's on par with any of the other four drops in blue. Uh, it does come out for relatively cheap, uh, one energy cost, or if you use like the Great Priest Unison or this Beerus um, promo, you can combo it for free. So it's essentially a free card, but it still requires your opponent to allow a battle card on their side of the field to die, um, which is where this deck really, really struggles. Uh, is that if your opponent knows the matchup and knows how they want to, uh, or knows that they want to keep you from KOing cards on their side of the field, they're just going to protect them full and full. And at least with this variation of the deck and the way that I built this version, if you are not KOing at like at minimum two battle cards on your opponent's field every turn, you are falling behind so, so far. Um, which is just kind of unfortunate, and I kind of wish that uh, it, this deck had another out other than being forced into uh, attacking your opponent's battle cards. Yep. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel... Playing against it, it doesn't feel smooth. Mm-hmm. feels like it has to do things in very inopportune sequencing. Um, it's very dependent on not focusing on what your opponent is trying to do more than what mm-hmm. you are doing for your opponent. Mm-hmm. 
And, like, I like the thought behind the deck. I just think that it's one of those things that is better on paper than it is actually in practice. Yeah. Uh, Almost at every point in every match that I played with this deck, it just felt like I didn't have the cards that I needed in hand. And also when I got the cards, I didn't have anything to do with them. It's a very weird feeling when I'm looking at my hand and just being like, I can't do anything. Like there's just I I I think of this match like at one point I had like twelve cards in hand couldn't do a single thing with any of them. I I remember there being a point and you just have this like grip of cards in your hand and you're sitting there thinking really hard. I was like, dude, like you have no idea how scary it is staring behind that hand. And you said I literally have zero playable cards in my hand. Yeah. Um. And this is the archetype version of the list. There's a possibility of a better version of this list that's running less of the archetype and more just good blue cards. Uh, I, I'm sure that could exist, but like this list, the archetype just feels so so bad. We um, we just go, or I mentioned beforehand, like we saw Fluff do it. You're giving them a 15k battle card, mm-hmm. and in that process. If they have a card they can just freely combo away that they don't need for this matchup, it protects yeah. that card, and you just gave them a free battle card that they can potentially swing back at you with. Mm-hmm. There were a couple of moments like this during the game where, you know, like in this instance, I played Vegeta, the Interceptor, and bottom decks two cards on the field, and Jimmy went, well, that's game. Yeah, like... It it took so much setup where it doesn't look like it took that much setup, but it took so much setup just to put those cards on field that it, the the moment that you took them away, it was just like I I'm so far behind now. I was already behind to begin with, but now I'm just like astronomically far behind. Yeah, um, I think this is one of the points where like I'm sitting and looking at my hand, I'm like I don't know what to do and you're like bro like just play something i'm like i don't know if i can <laughs> like like i have to play something i have to do something this turn but it's what do i do yeah i feel like the difference between this and grand priest because both these leaders don't really attack your opponent in, in the theme of the kind of the show and the manga like they just sit on the sidelines and they draw you cards and do fancier stuff, I do feel like this is a weaker leader compared to Grand Priest in the in their abilities, where Grand Priest allows you to combo with a god card, which potentially furthers the potential of that deck. Like I said earlier, you're giving your opponent a battle card that if they feel like putting a Sensu Bean on for your mm-hmm. 15 or 16k battle cards, now you have to spend extra resources just to go over that hump. Yep. And all of the Beerus cards being a two cost to play just feels. Or I, other than this one, uh, this is a one drop Beerus, which is actually probably one of the best ones in the deck, but it doesn't give you any additional effects for being. Uh, uh, for KOing a battle card. And also, we do uh, get the restand eventually. I forgot. He does switch himself to active mode on the auto. Um, we do get that. It's it's about like mid turn on Fluff's turn here. Tis, but, tis, Jimmy. Shut up. You play <laughs> this deck, dickhead. Um, I will do. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You do it. Uh, but he's actually pretty decent. He strikes a life, restands himself, and becomes a twenty k, uh, which is fairly solid. And it's decent for proccing your leader ability, which will just restand one of your blue energies. Um, but if you really break it down, is getting one restand worth taking a life? And also, I comboed a card out of my hand. I probably didn't need to do that, but just to ensure that that damage happened. Like, Also, with that being said, though, you would have had an extra attack. You could have swung into his Vegeta, which is now applying pressure to you, you know? The uh, the, the boost is only for the battle. Oh, it's only for the, the battle. Okay, so I guess it didn't yeah. matter too much then. Okay. Yeah. There, there are so many limiting factors to every every one of these cards in this deck. Uh, other than them costing two, which is just so 
awkward in this deck for some reason, especially because you want to run stuff like Beerus Destroys and uh, like UI Goku Kamehameha to ensure attacks go through. Very similar to the SS4 Vegeta leader, where you run these big combo cards that make sure damage happens. Uh, you want to be tapping energy for that, but you also want to put Beerus cards on the field. You want to, you know, combo your four drop Beeruses. You want to leave energy open for Sensu Beans. Like, uh, you want to play Unison, which there's no good time to play a unison in this deck in my opinion um even though the great priest unison makes makes a lot of sense in this deck um there's just no good time to play it yeah i i remember i i fell in that hole a lot when i played grand priest like i had this unison hmm. but when do i want to play it like my turn four or turn three could be better used for playing cards for fairly cheaply and going wide, or do I spend three resources to hold on to and activate battle during my opponent's turn, you know, or mm -hmm. do it during my turn and then have a minus three to bounce a card that's threatening? And I feel like it's, yep. it's kind of the same looking at here. Like, if you spend three energy playing your unison, is that going to help you? Also, that is not the beer that you're going to play by tapping a yellow card. But you do have another yellow <laughs> energy in, in, on board right now, so... Yeah, uh, so if you notice, that's my only Beerus energy that I have. In this particular two-drop, when he KOs a battle card, he restands a Beerus in my energy. That's right, that's right, yeah. Which goes back to what I was saying, very limiting, because there's only so many Beerus cards in the deck, and you want to run a lot of them to get full value out of, you know your one drop leases you want to be able to get full value off of this two drop you want to have good barrises to swing at your opponent with uh so you have to run so many of them and there's so many situations where you will have to row one of your good beerus cards like the multicolor uh, just because you want to have an energy to untap uh, It's it's almost it almost feels uh, like I I was I was talking to to Fluff during this match. I'm like this just feels like a joke deck. Like this just feels like you know it's a it feels it's a, like a, playing against it. It felt like something that came out of like set two yeah. that wasn't sell. You know what wasn't sell wasn't Mecha Freeze uh, was Fluff any just... of the. I, Hang on, Fluff. You're crashing out all of a sudden. <laughs> Fluff got banished to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> he just got KO'd by Beerus, and his opponent untapped one energy and drew a card, and he fucking exploded. Uh, Am I better now? Yeah, you are. There you go. <laughs> uh, I wanted to point this out real quick. You charge a second um, Miraculous Transformation, I think it's what's called. No, that's wrong. Or is that right? The Goku. Yeah, my okay. transformation. Yeah, you only play two in your deck, don't you? Or you play three? Um, I play two, but then I sideboard into a third one. Okay, but I don't believe they came in. I didn't side in anything against Jimmy's deck. I don't think. I, I just see you charge. You charge both of those. I can't remember if the first one was intentional or not, but it was just kind of like, yeah, that just seems like an insult to Jimmy almost. It's like, it's not even worth negating with. I mean, really, if that card comes down, it's just fucking GG, because what am I going to do about it? It's true. <laughs> like, this was the most valuable play I made uh, in this entire match. The Zamas the Eliminator play. I, I tapped yeah. two for Zamas the Eliminator. But I, I, as I was saying, the Bears deck really feels like something that came out of set two. Mm -hmm. And and even then, there were decks that were doing more than this deck does. Yeah. Like, even way back then, like, these Bears have good effects, but a lot of the times they boil down to having to KO skillless cards, I believe. They just have to attack and KO a card on your opponent's field. We just it. gives them the ability to do that if your opponent doesn't have battle cards. Yeah. Um, which, it, it's nice that that's built into the deck that it gives you a target, but even then, 
the the value trade that you get from playing this deck is just not equal compared to other decks because in most cases if everything goes perfect for you you plus maybe one in a turn yeah like maybe one most of the time if you're playing perfect you are negging one or two cards every single turn uh which just feels bad and like the first game i played i played against a supreme kai list and like i made like 10 actions in one turn and then looked at looked at his field he had he still had no battle cards in play because i played the skillless on him he had taken one life and i was still at the same amount of cards that i started the game with and it's just like Okay, maybe this deck is just absolute ass. <laughs> or maybe I'm just an idiot and playing this wrong. Uh but here I am just scrambling for literally anything. So why radiant saints <laughs> over like say hatch for protection? Uh I mean hatch is obviously the best uh the best secret rare, but I was I was thinking like this list is a little goofy. It's not that great. Like, let's try something. Let's see if we can make this a rare work. And you know, it got it got a, a god ceiling. So of course, it didn't work. But my my idea was it was that if you can establish some Beeruses on your field and you swing into your opponents, it's a free 10k combo, uh, which could assure a KO and could in certain situations you could untap multiple energy to pay for the cost of Radiant Saiyans. Uh, so that's one of the big value plays that you can make, but you have to get there and you have to have the right cards in hand to make that pop off. I thought for sure when you comboed Radiant Sands, I thought my field was gone. Yeah, that, that would have been the smart play, but, uh, just as a, like, uh, what was the word? Like, Uh, precaution for lack of a better term. I, I can't think of a, a better word to use. What but that would have been the Was it doing uh, game of yeah. play? So, uh, on play, it just becomes a, a double strike crit, I believe. Uh, yeah. it, then the other option is that you just place it in the drop area, and uh, I think you uh, bottom four cards from your opponent's field. Bottom deck uh, four cards. Yeah, but if I remember correctly, it does not ignore barriers, so the go tanks are staying. Um, I think and... I remember I remember reading it and had the impression that I lost my entire field like it did ignore barrier. Yeah, I I'll re- I'm pretty sure it's only four cards get get removed and I'm pretty sure they they choose uh, I'm I'm not super familiar with the secret rare. I just thought it it, it was cute in this oh, list. If you if yeah, if you don't choose four of your opponent's battle cards, place them at the bottom of the owner's deck and remove yeah. this card from your drop in your drop area from the game. So yeah. Yeah, so, so it doesn't ignore barrier. Yeah, it would have kept the go tanks around, uh, and it would have got rid rid of the rest of the cards, which is also a problem. Um, and there it is. <laughs> yeah, and it's just you know, <laughs> um, that, that's it. I want to see the draft box two or five, however you look at it. Uh, Grand Priest in this deck, it's so much more valuable than it is in the Grand Priest one because. Mm-hmm. You could throw a bunch of little weedies, do something, and then just pop it out on board. So, mm-hmm. I do like that that tech option for the deck, though. But that is today's matchup. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know Jimmy absolutely loved it. And- oh yeah, I, I love the I love doing sixteen actions in a turn just to get a drop of cum at the end. Flip well, leaders out. Um, general consensus is that Weiss is shit. Uh, read your cards, know your plays. Let us make the mistakes so that you don't have to, you know, like playing Blue Weiss and fluff out.